Hey, welcome back to survival no man's land guys um, just finished up lunch kind of washing up let's uh go up here and brainstorm so we want to expand this field and all of this is loam I know it so now they had an old road here uh, somewhere. It's somewhere right in this area. Now I'm wondering if that road separated. Yeah, right here. I wonder if it separated the um, the sandy loam or the blue from the loam. Because I'm not 100% sure, but the road... Um, this was blue. And the road kind of came through... Oh, maybe I just left the road. The road comes up through here. All the way... Uh, did it turn on me? Well, for now, it kind of ended. Um, but I was thinking that section over there on 27 on this side of the trees, it's a fairly flat. It might be a good location for another field. Um, another arable field, but we're going to have to check it. I mean, I uh, kind of far away from our from our bunker silo. But I also don't want to just waste the grass if it is a bad area. Um, because at some point, you know, we're going to get a baler or a lot larger, uh, forge wagon. So let's go ahead and jump over into the silver bullet. Do we still have, yeah, we still have the soil sampler. And I know we said we're going to do the chickens first thing. Um, we don't have any food, but I did test the chicken pen. And if I put it down, we can still plant crops, mow, um, harvest, everything with it with it uh, on the ground. The only thing you got to contend with is the four posts. Oh, we almost drove right through our field. You have to contend with the four posts. Uh, that it's kind of their their uh, roam limit, I guess you could say their their boundary. So, we know this is all, I mean, we could plant it, but if we're going to have, and this is nice and flat too, that's kind of what sucks. This would be great, great field, but, you know, and I'm sure not all of this is going to be yellow, but I wanted to come up here, which is right on the other side of this is a fairly, I, you know, you got a little hill back there, but it's uh, pretty flat. Got a few trees we need to remove. We're about right here's our limit. So, we still want to allow I don't know. We don't need to worry about that right now. Z, X, Z, X. I forgot how to allow them to create fields. Y. There we go. I guess we still have. A little bit further, we could have gone this way. I know it ain't gonna make much of a difference, but all right, let's lift that. I kind of want to do. Cause I would say we're probably right between these trees, like right here maybe is our land. This little tree's on the other, but we'll stay a little bit south of. I'm assuming this would be south. 
the numbers go down that way, but they, you can read them normally, so I'm assuming that's north. So let's, uh, let's drop a sample here. Some of this is probably going to be clay because we know the top of that other field is clay. So we don't, you know, I kind of want to, let's start here. We'll make this one a lot longer just because that was clay and loam. So we'll get an idea. Maybe I'll just drag this one all the way out to the trees there. We'll get a good idea how the, uh, the different soil types flow this way from our current fields. I think at some point we're probably going to hit yellow. Or was that blue, that strip there blue? All right, that'll be good enough on that. Now let's come. We know that's blue up here. So more than likely, this is all gonna be blue. Let me put that away. Just do one. Now we'll start about here. Just kind of go at an angle. And that'll give us a good idea of what the different soils are in here. Alright. Switch back to this. Now are we going to get every pretty much Okay, so this is loam up here. This is all loam. So this clay doesn't continue. Actually, this is loam too. Alrighty, so we got our next field. It's gonna be a lot of blue and a lot of loam. So this does kind of take a Trajectory like that, I'm assuming. And the yellow, it's got a curve like this. I'm thinking this is probably all yellow here, but now we know this is our next field. Um, you know, where this will be our grass. 
we'll, we'll eventually get all this plowed in and then get this plowed in. And then that's good. We can probably, here's our road. We could even expand this field more because this is probably going to curve either curve up or it's going to go straight. It's going to start. All right. Well, let's, uh, did we not put fertilizer on this one? Yeah, we need to come put fertilizer on this. These should all be good, yeah. All right, let's fertilize this first. goes right through loam. This has grown too much where well, we're going to kill it. Yeah, in the next field, if we have to, we will, uh, let's see, are we going to kill it? Negative. Good. Next build, if we have to, we will, uh, we will just plow around the trees if we don't have the money to get, um, a stump grinder. I want to get rid of this. That's clearly not it. Well, we're probably gonna have to go into the clear current course. There we go. Shoot, I know what I'm doing sometimes all right so we're just gonna have to check the map on this one only because I we are not really gonna be able to see what we're doing Like we're going awfully slow.
we shouldn't have to contend with any any weeds. But I'm actually kind of curious to see how this yellow is going to yield. Um, Cause I think the clay is the worst of all the soils. So if this thing yields close to 99%, then I don't know. We can still put animals on it, but I've never really paid attention to the, uh, the yellow soil. Yeah, this fertilizer spreader is going to be a little small for the fields once they get any bigger than this. This has already taken a minute or a couple minutes. like we're finished up um or we're finishing up should be dead on come on the sprayer will stop once we get to the end down here where we don't need the fertilizer or, or where it's already fertilized Should stop right here. Yep. Okay. Let's look at our map. See what we got. Yeah, we missed a t couple tiny pieces, but not too bad for really not looking. Um. But yeah, we're definitely gonna need a bigger uh, spreader. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we're good on fertilizer everywhere. But now that we have that, I want to jump out. See what our yield potential is on the yellow. Um, oh yeah, 78% of 80. Yeah, so after we're done here, we're not going to put a crop in this part of the field again. That'll be for grass and animals. And the grass might even be just as bad, but at least that don't yeah, see the blue soil or sandy loam is much better. But we'll get that all plowed up for grass and then but I wanna start plowing up there where we uh just did the test samples. And I think we still have a couple months before we can plant anything else. Probably March.
and then we'll work on this section over here expanding this field like I said after we get the crop uh, harvested yeah we'll just bring the sampler with us we're gonna have to sample all of it anyways once we're done. What was this one right here? I don't remember now. So that's all loam, okay. So then we'll just, we'll probably make the field like this. Maybe I'll get closer to this rock. So let me. Yeah, let me um, back up here. Still set on. Nope. It's still on allow create. Yep. Right, let me get a little map up. That way we kind of know where we're at. so far I guess it doesn't really matter it's gonna be a rather big field so it's going to take a while to get it all plowed in. So a ton of the work will probably be done off camera. We will definitely uh, do a couple time lapses on this. we have a our harvester ain't ginormous um, you know I should be able to handle this and this is by far going to be our biggest field so we get it all plowed in. I'm gonna have to go price the uh I said we'll stay on this side of that tree. I'm gonna have to go price the stump grinder.
Because I really don't want these trees in our fields. We should connect to that little spot there. like that. So we got this uh, build pretty much complete. We uh, took down all the small trees except for the one up here on the left and this big one in front of us. Um, I want to get pricing on some uh, stump stump grinders. That may be our next purchase. Uh, that and we need a trailer that we can put grain in. And we need a silo, just a ton of stuff. Um, but hopefully that silage will be ready before harvest. That way we can apply that towards either a silo or a trailer. Um, this field should be pretty good. We'll finish sampling it here in a, in a minute. I wanted to get these stumps all ground down. There's one right here to our right. Oh, we just went over one. Like I said, I just didn't want to fight the trees. So that one's got to come out. And this big one in front of us is going to get chopped down. We'll bring the van over and put, put it uh, in the van and trailer. And um, did we get it all? No. All right. Let's see if we can back up and get this little piece. That way we don't have to worry about coming back with the 
with the plow to uh, plow after we cut it down. And now what I was kind of curious is should I extend the field over the hill to where I plowed the ground here? I think we probably should. Just connect it over there. Um, I mean, I'll do that in between episodes for sure. But we could... Yeah, you know what? Let me just... Uh, I'll just do the outline real quick. It won't take long to finish this up. But, you know, we can... Some of this might turn into yellow soil or the loamy sand. I believe this corner of the, the field here to our right was that same type of soil, the, the yellow. I don't remember if it's the sandy loam or loamy sand or whatever, but I believe this is all decent soil up here. Like I said, we'll get a soil sample. Um, we'll just connect it in right before these trees. Kinda like that right there. Like I said, this part won't take very long um, to finish it up. Yeah, I might as well do it before we do the soil sample. I'll bring you guys back in a minute. I don't want to make you sit through this again. Alright guys, this is essentially done. Just have this strip and a little bit behind us. But, yeah, I mean, it's uh, definitely um, a decent sized field. So, and if it's all good soil, you know, then um, we'll uh, be expecting to make quite a bit of money off this one. Um, and I will do that area down there as grass I'm not really gonna worry about the trees as much on that you know we can kind of just mow around them and bail around them so but the fields that we're putting crops in I'm going to I'm gonna take all the trees off of there we go alright so now Bring this up. All righty. So I'm thinking we might be able to get this whole field in here. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be able to, as long as I can hit the corner up here. Should be good. Uh, part of it might be sticking out the back over here. So let's do the sample. Oops, forgot what the sample was. B. Yeah, let me just back up a little and we'll take one more. Send them all off. And we'll see what we get. It's saving. Oh, yeah, so that field's going to be good for us, just like this one. Yeah, so this is by far the biggest field. Um, 
We're going to have, and then that, that the original fill, we're going to have to increase it. Probably connect it up to that top field. Um, and then we'll, we'll uh, get some crops in these two big fields as soon as we're able to in March. But what I want to do right now is not worried about that. We need to look at uh, the... Stump grinders. So we need 24 5. This one will grind stumps, I believe. Yep. So we need 24 5. And then how much is our. Uh, what do we have that I was thinking we could sell? Um, well, we could probably get rid of the van now. And what we'll do is we'll load up the trees in the van we'll take the van and the car trailer up and then we'll buy that we'll buy that uh a stump grinder and then we're going to need a an actual trailer for for the uh, crops, but let's um, let's go ahead and end this episode here. I'll get those trees loaded up, um, and when we come back, I'll uh, we'll get rid of the van and. I don't want to sell the small tractor yet. Yeah, we'll sell the van so we can afford that stump grinder because we can get back and forth to the store now with uh, product and trees and stuff by using the tractors. But I want to get a, a grain trailer that we can convert to a flatbed as well. So I'm going to have to go get some of the mods to get those because uh, I didn't download them. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you know, we actually got a lot done. We did this huge field. So, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.